Hey, it's Mike with TopDaddies.com, and this summer we're doing a bit of a road trip throughout British Columbia. We decided to visit our friends at Cal Tire locations along the way. Today we're in the Maple Ridge location. This is Adam from Maple Ridge. Hey, Mike, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. So uh, we've done a couple videos already. We've talked about the importance of checking your uh, air pressure in the tires and your wheel alignments and tire treads before going on a road trip. Is there anything else that we should be looking for? You know, the last two things you want to check before you head out are going to be your fluids and your brakes. Uh, why don't you bring your vehicle in here and we'll check it out. Sounds good. Mike, let's start with fluids. What we're gonna do is let's go over everything you will wanna go over before you and the family do your road trip here. So the first thing we'll start talking about will be the engine oil. Engine oil is gonna be the lifeblood of the vehicle. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna locate your dipstick. We're gonna quickly pull it out and clean off any residue that's remaining on it from when the engine was running. Dip it back down again, pull it out, and what we're looking for is we wanna find out uh, the color consistency, we want to make sure it's between the min and the max line. And the last thing we want to check is the quick smell test. Just to make sure that nothing smells burnt, everything looks good. Uh, this is a really good example of what you want to be looking for. The other fluids you want to check on the vehicle are sometimes a little hard to locate. Uh, each manufacturer puts them in a different position, but let's go over them together. Uh, we want to make sure that you're going to have enough windshield washer fluids. So you want to fill that up right to the very max. Um, and if you're doing a long road trip, it's always good to have an extra jug in the back as well too. The other reservoirs we're going to check, we're going to check the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, we're going to see a min and max line in our bottle. Just give it a quick shake, make sure the fluid's right in the middle of that. The other reservoir we're going to check on this vehicle is going to be the coolant. Same thing to make sure our coolant level is going to be sitting between that min and max mark. Uh, one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to check the coolant level inside the radiator. If the vehicle's hot, the system is pressurized, and taking the cap off can result in hot coolant going everywhere. The important thing to remember is the reason why we're checking the fluid levels. Each of these systems is individually sealed and operates by itself. So if the reservoir is low, it could be a sign there's a potential leak in one of the systems, which can cause damages. So a quick easy check after this is just to make sure that there's no drips or spots in the driveways and you're good to go. Now that we've done fluids, let's take a quick look at the brakes. Brakes are a little bit more challenging to check in the driveway, so the best time to do it is have a trained technician when you have your regular oil services done. But the things that you want to look and keep your eyes out for is going to be uh, any heavy metallic smells coming from the brakes, uh, excessive heat coming from one side of one wheel versus the other wheels, uh, and heating and scoring on the face of the rotor. Uh, another few common signs are going to be when you're driving and you're applying the brakes that the vehicle has a pull to the left or to the right, or if you feel a shudder in the steering wheel or in the seat or in the pedal while you're braking. Right, let's go over a couple examples of what brakes should and shouldn't look like. Uh, when we see a brand new rotor out of the box, this is exactly what we're looking at. Nice, smooth mounting surface, um, and you can see right through the fins properly. Uh, what we want is we want a nice, clean surface, so brand new brake pad pressing against brand new rotor. Uh, so if we take a look at the rotors that we took off this vehicle, uh, we can see that there's corrosion all through the fins. They're getting quite hard to see through. That also reduces its ability to reduce heat and eventually can build up and cause a brake pulsation, like in this case. You can also see the overheating throughout the color of the rotor. That's what gives it that bluish tinge. Um, and you can also see the corrosion coming into where the pad mates contact, which create a lot of uh, noises from a grinding to a squeak. When we take a look at the brake pads, this is what a brand new pad looks like. Uh, it should be anywhere between 9 to 12 millimeters based on the make and model of the vehicle. And this is what a worn out brake pad looks like. Now, our goal is we want to start changing them around the four millimeter mark. Once brakes get down to that four millimeter mark, the reason why we want to start looking at changing them is we want to try and be preventative. Uh, the lower the brakes go, the more, more chance it has of damaging the rotor or damaging the caliper from overextending itself. On top of all this, the main person that's going to know when there's an issue with your brakes will be you as the driver. Things you want to always keep an eye out for and some ears open for are going to be any type of irregular noises, which could be anything from a high-pitched squeal to some grinding. Also the feel of the brakes too, if you still get a real soft, squishy pedal, could be a sign that something's wrong and it's something to come in to see a mechanic. Well, Adam, thank you so much for showing me around the uh, Maple Ridge location, talking about fluids and brakes. If uh, people had questions about uh, getting the car ready for a road trip, where can they go? Uh, no problem. I mean, we got our website, caltire.com. We also got our online blog and lots of video feeds there. Also, we have 250 locations across Canada. Stop by anyone and say hi and grab a coffee. Sounds great. Well, thanks again, Adam. And uh, don't forget to check your brakes and fluids before you head out on a road trip. Until next time. Bye, guys.